So today we're going to be working with uh, base 10 block, doing a little addition uh, with regrouping. So we've been working with base 10 blocks for these last couple of lessons. And when we're doing addition with regrouping, this is only after uh, students have had time to familiarize themselves with the base 10 blocks, uh, as well as do uh, some addition with regrouping. <coughs> And they can, they can write down, they can actually, you can, they can write down numbers um, that the blocks represent. So if I put a one flat, two rods, three units, uh, a child will be able to say, well, this is three units, two rods, one flat, this is the number 123. Or uh, likewise, if we were to tell them a number, if we were to tell them a number, they're able to um, to think about it and uh, represent it using the flat. And actually, I'm going to trade in my smaller mat for a larger mat, which I found. Uh, the only thing with this larger mat is here it actually says ones, tens, and hundreds. I don't recommend using um, uh, base 10 chart for younger kids with ones, tens, and hundreds. I would rather use uh, the terms units, rods, and flats, but you might also find it as uh, cubes, longs, and um, flats. So, addition with the regrouping. Um, the reason why I, I also like to have kids play uh, the game race to 10, race to 20, race to 100 is because there's, there's a rule there, the trade-in rule that they uh, that they learn and they practice. Uh, so I, I feel learning the rule and having it become kind of like second nature, like they understand if they have 10, uh, 10 units, they have to trade in for a rod, or if they have 10 rods, they have to trade in for a flat. Um, so that's a good precursor also. Otherwise, it's something we can also instruct um, or, or, or remind them when we're teaching them additional regrouping. So again, one of the things we want to um, to do is we want to set up our chart. And what I did last time was I, I, I made two lines, the one dash line to represent our first number. So whatever is on top in the first column uh, will be our first number. So 123 will be our first number and it will be on top of the line. And then our second number would be below the line. And then we have our summation line. We put our answer below. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, represent our addition problem nine plus two on our sheet using the uh, on our base ten chart using the base ten blocks. So again, what we're going to do um, we're going to we're going to put our number nine. We're going to count out nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to put that on top. And then we'll take our second number, two. I'm going to put that on the bottom. That's our second number. And I always like to write somewhere 9 and 2. Now when we're, um, when we're doing the addition problem, you know, we're going to let students know the rule. There's a trade-in rule. And uh, every time you have, um, you get 10 of any of the blocks, you have to trade in for the next higher block. So an example would be if we have, if we're adding and we get 10 units, what we'll do is we'll trade in those 10 units for one rod and we'll place the rod in the rod column. So here we're going to do this problem 9 plus 2. So we're going to um, we're going to bring all uh, the numbers and units from the bottom to the top. So we, so we have 2 here, so we have 9 on top, we're going to bring one more, 9, 10, and then it's the trading rule. We have 10 units. I'm going to trade in. 
for one rod. Oop, and the rod goes in the rod column, not in the ones column, in the units column. So we're going to put the rod over here. And we still have one unit left over, so we'll bring that up. So we have, how many units do we have? We have one unit in the ones column, and we have one rod in the rods column. So 9 plus 2 gives us one rod and one unit, or the number 11. So now we're going to work on our next problem, uh, 23 plus 9. So the first thing we do is we set up our numbers. So 23 is 2 rods and 3 units. And then we have our number 9, which is just 9 units. So let's count these out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And since that's, and since that's our second number, we're going to put that on the bottom. Here we go. And now we're going to do our addition problem. And again, we're going to re-emphasize re uh, the trading rule. If we have 10, uh, 10 units, we trade in for a rod. If we have 10 rods, we trade in for a flat. And where we start on the bottom, we bring up. So we have three on top. So we just write 23. And we have we have 23 and we're adding 9. So we have 9 and we bring it to the top. So we have 3 on top. We have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now you hear the magic number 10, what do you do? You trade in 10 <coughs> units for one rod. We put the rod where it belongs in the rod column. We carry it over. And we still have 10 units from our ones column, so we're going to finish bringing these up. We're going to put our, our answer all the way down here. So we have two units. And now what we're going to do is we're going to count up our rods. We have one rod, two rod, and three rod. So 23 plus 9 would give us three rods and two units, or the number 32. So now we have an even larger number that we're going to do with the regrouping. We have 139 plus 75. So the first thing we do is we um, make our numbers. And then we have 75, so we have 7 rods and 5 units. We're just going to write these numbers down. So you have 100, 39, plus 75. So again, we always start in our ones column, in our units column, sorry, excuse me. And we have 9 units on top, we have 5 units on the bottom, and we start from the bottom and we bring it up. So we have 9 units on top, we're going to bring 1, so that's 10. We have 10, we trade in for 1 rod. Now we have the blue ones left, so I'm just going to put this up here. It's kind of like carrying over, it's exactly like carrying over. And we're just going to bring the rest of these units up, so 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to write that down on the bottom. Now we have four rods on top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start from the bottom and we're going to bring these rods up. So we have four on top right now. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the rule, trade in. We have ten rods. We're going to trade in ten rods. So we have ten rods, so we're going to change these ten rods for one flat. So we're going to trade in 10 rods for one flat. And then we're just going to bring up our last rod. And we're just going to write down how many rods we have. We have one rod. And now we're in our a flat column. So we're going to count how many flats we have. We have one. We have two flats. So um, 139 plus 75 is 214 or two flats. One rod four units.